Yeah, so over here we um, are actually creating a circuit for a very real life situation that could happen in healthcare environment. And we have over here Yvonne, who is going to help us demonstrate and give us a follow up of what's happening over here. Okay, so first we have uh, the situation of a helicopter landing on a uh, landing pad. And in this case, we want at the nursing station a light and a horn to indicate. We just have a light acting as our horn at the moment. And we want a spotlight out on the, the landing ramp and landing pad to stay on for at least five minutes while the helicopter is offloading its patients. So we simulate the helicopter coming in. It lands on the ramp. These lights turn on. And that's it for the helicopter. Now, after the patient's been unloaded from the helicopter and the helicopter takes off, the spotlight stays on. And now, as the patient's being moved down the ramp, we have... The, a pressure switch which activates a, uh, a door to open automatically so that we can get the patient through the door and the spotlight turns off when we've got the patient through the door after the five minutes. So now we've finished on the ramp and we're going into inside the doors and there's a mat and the mat keeps the door open so it keeps the motor activated for the door and the door stays open long enough for us to get the patient and everybody through and then once we've got everybody off of the mat, the door closes behind us. And then we go through into the cardiopulmonary resuscitation room. And when we close those doors, it activates a fan and a light to indicate to people that there's someone in the room. And what we want with this is when people are finished in this room and they open the doors again, that the fan actually stays on for five minutes, but the light goes off. And this is our scenario and our situation.